Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your three month forecast. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus signs for the next three months. So this is being recorded in the middle of October. So the first month would be like the middle of October to the middle of November. Depending on when you watch it, say you watch this at the end of October, then your first month would be November. So keep in mind that not every reading is for you. So it may, it may, this reading may not be for you. Uh, let's just see what comes up. Take what resonates and leave the rest. What do we have for month number one? Month number two, please, for Aquarius. Month number two. Things are smooth, very smooth. So I'm not sure what's going on. It looks pretty smooth to me. Month number three. Month number three. Things are falling right into place. It's just so easy. This is easy. So that doesn't happen often. It just feels like things are very comfortable. Something like that. Month number one. Month number one. Month number one for Aquarius. Month number two. And month number three. Okay, what do we have for Aquarius, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? What do we got for, an, for Aquarius? Month number one, please. Month number one. Month number two. One more card. Month number three. Month number three. Month number three. And an overall energy for the next three months for Aquarius. An overall energy, please. For the next three months. One card, one card. Two pentacles. So this is flexible, being flexible. This is adapting to new circumstances. This is change. Um, so yeah, you may be needing to be more flexible or you are being more flexible. You are adapting to something in the next three months. Okay. Um, now when I see the two of pentacles, this is some sort of alignment. You're going through some sort of alignment. And I think there's something, um, you know, with the infinity. We have the infinity sign in here. You can barely see it, but it's here. This is a, a, a power or an energy that is bigger than yourself that is changing your circumstances. And you are going to need to adapt to these changes. This is like a... Uh, geometric power of some sort, okay, that is, is changing your life in some way. So there's a need to be flexible in the next three months. So let's go ahead and start with month number one. Change. Well, we just talked about that, didn't we? You are going to be going through some major changes, okay, especially starting in month number one. This is change, big change. Seasons change, we change. This is, this is basically, uh, <laughs> you know, if you think about this, uh, it's going from cold to hot. It's going from, uh, 
one stage of your life to another. A big time. This is big. This is big. Big change. This one has changed as well, so. Building blocks makes sense. Rebuilding. Rebuilding some sort of a future for yourself. Month number one. Ooh, well, Aquarius, perhaps you got a new lover. This is a soul connection of some sort. This could be very unexpected. This is a new contract. Um, this is some sort of new union that is beautiful. See, this is, looks as though it is a... You know, it's a divine connection. Take a look at them. This is this is a perfect match. Okay, it is the perfect match of some sort. Could be a dark-haired man um, with a uh, blonde-haired woman. Just saying. This is a gift from above. It's like you are being blessed. Wow. This is a true, true, true blessing here. She gives birth to a to a miracle. Okay, she does. She does. So, we do have um, some major influences here. Okay, we have four majors, two minors. So, we have some major universal um, help. Okay, this is like the universe has stepped in and brought you some sort of gift. This is a true gift. Um, I, you may have called it in. Perhaps you manifested a soulmate or you've been through some sort of painful situation. And this is your reward, perhaps. I feel like you guys um, are going to have a deep, deep, deep connection with somebody this month. Deep, very deep. So deep that you can't deny it. It's undeniable. Okay. This is a, a strong desire to be with this person. So magnetic. There's so much chemistry with this person, whoever it is. You may be a little conflicted though with this five of wands. This is conflict. This is uh, going back and forth. You know, probably you may be a little unsure for some reason. If you are unsure, I, I'm here to tell you that your intuition knows. I think that you know that, um, I think your gut is trying to tell you that this is a deep connection, that you should do this, that you should go for this. But it's like you, we have the angel here and we have the devil here. Then we have mind conflict in the middle. So you're conflicted. You're definitely uh, overthinking this, overanalyzing. You, you, maybe you're worried. You're worried about, you know, this connection is so deep. Is this, is this too good to be true? Um, you could be worried about that. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra or a Gemini. Um, I feel like you're definitely going back and forth, back and forth. And you may have an unexpected, you may have a choice between two people. Right here and right here, you may have a choice. You may have two people um, that you have to choose from. One of them is very seductive, and the other is more nurturing. It's like you you probably you could have a seductress on one side, and you have a caregiver on the other. This one person is kind of withholding from you, um, especially if you are the male Aquarius watching this. You you probably do have a choice between two people. All right. Um, somebody could be, have to make a choice between a toxic individual and a, somebody else. Okay. Somebody else that, um, is more high vibrational, put it that way. It's like devil versus angel here. You, and you, this is an unexpected choice in love. So I feel like you may have to make some sort of choice. You may have to make some sort of choice in month number one. This is choice as well. You may have to let something go. You know, seasons change. Sometimes people only stay in your life for a little while. Okay? So, you know, maybe you have to, you have to, you definitely, are, like, there's a back and forth energy of, of needing to choose between two paths, two people here. I think that you have a choice between probably... 
uh, somebody that is maybe unhealthy. You may be addicted to this person or you may be with this person for codependent reasons or, or vice versa. Okay, because these readings can be vice versa. And you, you are probably going to have, definitely going to have to make a choice this month as to which one you want. One person is, and if you are the Aquarius woman watching this, I feel like you are coming across as very valuable. I think that you are coming across as um, a true beauty. Somebody that is is uh, very, very uh, attractive and the pick. Okay, it's like you're the pick and everybody can see it. I think that you have multiple options if you are the Aquarius woman. You do. You have multiple options. You may have a Capricorn come towards you if you are the Aquarius woman. Maybe a Gemini. If you are the Aquarius man, I think that you are going to have to make a choice between two women. Just saying. That's what I see. There's definitely going back and forth here with this Five of Wands and needing to listen to your gut, needing to listen to your intuition. Um, this is this is trapped. Somebody has been trapped in an unhealthy situation and they probably have a way out. It's like they have an opportunity to choose another path. It's like this angel has brought in somebody, somebody new. Okay, that's what this is. It's like an unexpected opportunity for love, but you, somebody is stuck in something. They could be stuck in some sort of codependent situation for all the wrong reasons, and they need to find their uh, ability to let go of it, because this is like a tug of war. You gotta let go of something to receive this gift that you have been presented. So it feels like you're definitely going to be presented with some sort of gift this month. And it's unexpected. It is unexpected. You may be already trapped or you may be already in some sort of union with somebody and God or angels or Cupid or somebody brings you this unexpected opportunity, which you are very, very much attracted to. It's like, you know, that you have some connection to this person. You feel it. You feel it on the inside. But you're stuck in something that you're going to need to let go of. That's what it looks like to me. Um, I feel like month number one, you will be tempted. You will definitely be tempted. Tempted to, or somebody will be tempting you. Okay, could go vice versa. Uh, you be, <laughs> well, that's the same thing, huh? You will be tempting somebody or somebody will be tempting you. I think that... You're going to be conflicted for sure. You're going to have to make a choice between two two people. Especially for the male. Pro it could be for the female as well. It could be. I do see a very, very beautiful woman here. Somebody, and this is a woman. It really is. This is a very beautiful woman who has experienced a lot of pain. She knows her value. She knows her worth. She's beautiful on the inside and on the out. And she has multiple options and she doesn't chase. She knows her value. She She's just uh, very graceful. This woman is very graceful. Um, let me get a clarifier for her. What's going to happen for this woman? This woman may have the key to your heart. You see this key? If you are the male, if, if you are the female watching this, it's like there's somebody that is, has been in the background. I feel like they're getting ready to open up. They're getting ready to open up to you. If you are the female. Yeah, they are. Somebody's going to receive a message. Somebody is going to receive a welcome message of love. In month number one, from a crush, from somebody that is, uh, it's like they, they're crushing, they're crushing on her. This, this woman, whoever this woman is, is going to receive a message from somebody who has been hiding and they're about to, they're about to basically express, they're about to express how they feel, express something, an expression of love or some sort of uh welcome message Ooh, queen of you could be dealing with taurus this could be a taurus could be virgo capricorn as well but we have somebody here that definitely knows their value so for this woman that is is very very valuable 
it's like she is going to get an offer of love or something like that. It's like a playful message, a, a flirtatious message um, from somebody that has been hiding in the background, but they're about ready to open up. This woman is holding on to her value. She's not a, a you know, whore. So anyway, um, and people recognize that. And some, and the high priestess can be very, this is a seductress. The high priestess is a seductress. So you may have a choice, especially if you are the male Aquarius, a choice between two women. And this is very seductive energy, a seductress and a real queen. Okay. If you are the male, um, if you are the female watching this, you may have a male that has been stuck. Seriously, a male, a female, if you are the female watching this, you may have a male that has been stuck in a false contract at, with a uh, unhealthy individual that has been keeping, this person has been sacrificing themselves needlessly for this person and they've been wanting to escape and they're probably going to they're probably going to find their ability to come up with a plan and follow through with it now we have the emperor and the empress this is a match made in heaven this is a true soulmate connection it is it's where king and queen come together after a period of suspension or a period of being in limbo or, or or even or even tied to an unhealthy situation somebody was tied to a, a toxic situation and they needed to let go of it so somebody is probably finding their ability to take control to take the lead and escape so somebody's going either they've done it the month before or recently it's like they're escaping from an unhealthy situation so that they can they can uh express how they feel to you i think you know this person already if you are the male you are the boss you are the leader the empress doesn't chase the seductress does the seductress she will she will hound you she will beg you she needs you she's she's you know she's about sex or whatever you know she's she's very she's she needs she's codependent this person is is codependent right here i'm just seeing what's mirroring each other so you do have a seductress here that may um you have a choice between a seductress if you are the male and somebody who knows their value Somebody that doesn't chase men. Somebody that will wait. Somebody that is holding on to their value and, and is waiting for somebody to come after them. So you have a choice between the whore and the queen. So anyway, um, if you are the male. And the male, the, the, this queen will not take action. She's waiting. So if you are the male watching this and you want this true queen, you're the boss. You have to face your fears and make the move. She's not going to do it. Not this one, queen. The seductress will. Because, you know, she just does. She has hidden agendas. Anyway, so month number one, I feel like there is an opportunity for king and queen to, the, really, seriously, to come together in a soulmate connection. It's a dark haired man and a blonde haired woman. And that is no joke. Dark blonde, dark blonde. If you are, you know, it doesn't have to be. But that is what I see in these cards. It could be a dark haired woman as well. It could be. Um, it doesn't have to be. It can be, it can be <laughs> any race, any hair color, whatever. That is what I see here though. Um... Somebody is about to express themselves to the to the to a true queen. So if you are the true queen, if you are the true empress, you have a masculine that is probably escaping a codependent situation where they were seduced and they've been hanging on to it for a while, but it's like this person is taking the lead. It's like they're 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 doing it. They're doing it. I think they are. 
I think there's going to be communication in month number one that you do not expect from somebody. Well, if you are the male, you're the one delivering the communication. If you are the female, you are going to be the one receiving the communication. That is what I got here because this is very dominant. This is a person that knows what they want. They take the lead. They know they're the masculine and they take pride in being the masculine. This is not a weak man that needs a woman to pursue him. He pursues women. He's the alpha So we have an alpha man going after an alpha queen. You know, this is the queen of all queens. After being in a codependent situation with a seductress who had hidden agendas and kept this person in a, some sort of trap. Some sort of, a, this is demon. I mean, the devil is a demon. Based on uh, looks, it may have looked good. Maybe, maybe this person is more seductive than this person. This person is seductive in a different way. This person is seductive in a valuable way. This person is seductive in a sexy, sexy way. So anyway, let's see what we got. Building blocks. Hi Aquarius. Sorry for the interruption. But apparently the building blocks portion of the reading did not record. I do not want to know why. So we're just going to go ahead and read it for you. All I did was read the card and move on to the next one. So we're just going to we're going to do it again. I'm going to put this right in the middle. I do apologize. It is Mercury retrograde shadow and since that has happened, it has been nothing but chaos in recording land and that is no joke. I mean, I never seen it so bad in my life. So, um yeah, so be prepared if you are uh you do videos or with any sort of communication it's probably going to be rough very rough i'm having it rough so anyway i'm not going to do the whole video over um i'm just going to go ahead and give you this card that did not record uh, building blocks strong foundations a beautiful work in progress you have everything you need to cultivate an extraordinary life this is a time when your focus needs to be on the foundations you build upon. Your work, your relationships, and your very being are underwritten by your values, ethics, morals, and core beliefs. Are they still true for you? Will they stand the test of time and serve as the solid grounding upon which you construct your life? Now you are making changes that will affect everything in a positive way. Your destiny is truly a remarkable and beautiful design. When you see this card, know that you are attracting new relationships into your life and solidifying the ones you already have by building them on foundations of honesty, humility, clear communication, and a genuine desire to know one another. You are moving toward laying the groundwork for a relationship with the firm footing that will ensure it can withstand any storm. This is about building foundations and removing foundations that are cracked. So in month number one, you will be doing one or the other. New beginnings bring challenges. Adapt to your surroundings. Like the wind, the universal spiral symbolizes change and growth. The spiral is a sacred symbol that reflects the universal pattern of growth, evolution, the goddess, fertility, and life force energy. Just like the changing seasons, new life is formed after a period of hibernation. Plants know when to shed parts of themselves, dropping their leaves, branches, and seeds at the precise moment. Their natural rhythm is synchronized with their environment. Walking down the road of change allows you to see where you have been and where you are going. This perspective can be con confronting, but one needs to recognize past issues and mistakes to make better choices. These learning experiences require you to let go and surrender to your own divine will. Beginnings are often described as painful endings. Accepting your current position in life 
can offer powerful realizations about your current circumstances. Focus on life changes now. If you insist on making a decision, be patient and seek professional advice to secure solid foundations before the final phase. Right now, there is change in the air. You are moving quickly into the next cycle of your life. This acceleration may feel uncomfortable at first, but it is, it is essential for your progression. Being uncomfortable allows your soul to expand and grow. Surrender and let go of any fear you have surrounding the change required to ensure a smooth transition. Changing your circumstances in career, habits, family, finances, relationships, locations, ideas, and beliefs are all possible now. Be open to the possibilities. Just like an eclipse, severe change can be, be, be perceived as a negative influence, but in reality, it often leads to a more productive, beneficial outcome. Adapting to your new surroundings may take time. So you w month one is about adapting to change you will be going through a major change and it is universally driven but this is going to lead you towards you know this uh, perfect match it's a it's a perfect 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 match so that is month number one month number two soul journey orphaned orphaned hmm. justice five of swords ace of wands six of swords the chariot and the queen of cups month number two month number two we have somebody here that is heading towards somebody that has a big heart we have a we have a new partner we have a this is a new exciting opportunity this is a, this is your match it's like it's like it's been it's lit it's like it's lit it's lit right up somebody is moving towards somebody that has a really big heart um could be dealing with a cancer could be dealing with a cancer uh scorpio or pisces but it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be this, this five of swords the six of swords this is severing ties and moving on this is making a final decision so i think that you know from the month before you were in the process of making a decision but i think the decision is final now it's like the decision has been made somebody is severing ties from a uh troublesome situation you know where there was a lot of conflict there what there could have been belittling there could have been uh, it could have been a lose-lose situation where it was just a constant battle. You know, there was just a lot of, uh, it could have been animosity, a need to prove, a lot of going back and forth with whoever you were dealing with. A lot of opposition, put it that way. And you may be still dealing with a little bit of opposition. Maybe it's opposition within yourself. It could be. But I feel like the decision has been made and I think that you are about to go after what you deserve. This is go for it what you deserve they're marrying each other so I think that you are going after what you deserve and I feel like you're heading towards especially if you're the male if you are the male watching this you are headed towards this Queen of Cups or the Queen of Hearts and the Queen of Hearts can be any sign it does not have to be a water sign it, it's somebody who has a big heart and, and is looking for love this is a very feeling individual this person could be an empath this person is very intuitive very um, caring and nurturing and kind so this is actually, you know, moving towards this person. If you are the female, this is you taking on this energy and somebody is headed towards you. They're, they they may want to move in with you. You, you may want to move in together, something like that. We do have a new passionate beginning here, though. Um, definitely. I mean, this is and this is this is uh, it's like it just it came from out of nowhere. It did come from out of nowhere. Um but in order to take it, to grab onto it, it's like you had to sever ties with somebody else the month before, or you're still doing it, something like that. Um, 
Oh, there it is. The ties letting go. You let go. You let go the month before, or you're doing it still to, to accept this big, bright opportunity. This is like, it's so exciting and it's so, uh, attractive. You're very attracted to something. Um, somebody could be moving. They could be actually moving. Okay. Whatever it is that you are headed towards, it looks as though you are headed in the right direction because it's going to bring you emotional fulfillment. It's going to make you feel really, really, really good. It's going to make, there's love here. Okay. The queen of cups is love. This is, this is love. This is kindness. This is nurturing. Um, and it's moving away from a, some sort of, uh, very sticky situation where you may have felt like, uh, you could you couldn't win even if you tried but i think that you are i think that you are the winner here because you found your ability to leave that conflict behind it's like you're leaving that um tension you're just leaving that tension it's like the tension dissipates because you just it's like you get this i'm trying to think about this this ace of wands this is a new desire. It's a new exciting vision. This new excitement within you. It's like you... It's very passionate. It's like this this passion. It's like you... Hold on. Golden opportunity. It's like this is a vision. You see a golden opportunity with somebody that is very kind and generous and caring. This is seeing. This is see. This is a big, huge opportunity for something solid, something stable. And you head in that direction. It's like you see it and you go for it. This is just going for it. Leaving the tension behind. Leaving the conflict behind. So month number two, you might have a new partner, a new sexual partner. This you may this say in month one, you know, you're you're maybe it's at the end of month one you start communicating with this person or this person communicates with you as we saw the page of cups. You know, you receive the message and, and some there's flirting. It starts out as flirting, or maybe you have been flirting or whatever, and maybe this month it leads to something more and then it grows into something really solid because this is growth, it's a very fertile time. Okay, it's like you leave the conflict behind, you see the golden opportunity, you move towards it, and things progress very quickly. This is this is things moving very fast. So you could end up, you know, grabbing on to that golden opportunity and this this is like a new partner that could really be last for a really long time this could be your solid opportunity that you have been waiting for put it that way um yeah it's your solid opportunity that you have been waiting for. makes complete sense um this is that new doorway you move right into a new path you do you leave some sort of tense conflicting situation behind and you move out of it and you could actually, somebody could actually be moving out of it, like moving or and you could, somebody could be moving out of your house, could go vice versa. There's moving here. And this is, and this is, uh, finding the focus to start over someplace else or with somebody else. And this is like somebody giving you an opportunity. Some of you could be actually getting a gift. If this is job related, you could be getting a bonus or you could be get, coming into some sort of money. You could be getting a new exciting opportunity that is offered to you. So maybe even a new contract. Somebody may uh, start a new contract that brings them in money if this is financial. Okay, so it's like there is definitely abundance coming to you after leaving something behind. You have been in a situation, as we saw the month before, that was keeping you stuck. It was keeping you trapped. But you have a new contract coming in, something that is very positive. This is something that is going to be emotionally fulfilling and it's going to ease the tension. If you have been worried about money or worried about uh, uh, whether you are going to be victorious or successful, I'm here to tell you that you are going to be because this is, it's like your reward. This is a reward. This is a gift. This is a blessing. It is a blessing of some sort. This is something you can touch and something that will last, something that you can actually put in your bank. 
This is something you can bank on. So moving away from a stressful situation is going to open up a new opportunity for you. This is a, this is a this is something that you can um, uh, build on. Okay, you can build on it if you follow through with it and you go down that path and you don't lose your focus. You will find success at the end of the road, but you're going to have to take that road. So I think month number two, you have a new contract. Could be a new partner that is coming into your life. Whoever this person is, it is so. Is this is uh, there's not going to be a lot of tension like there was with the last person. This it, this is somebody that you could work together with. This may be your missing piece. I don't need the yin and yang to see that. I can see that already. I feel like this is something that you manifested as well. It's like you asked for it and here it is. This is what you asked for. Here it is. But there's before you get what you ask for, you there's always, always, always something that you need to let go of or you need to sever ties with. It's just the way it is. It is it's a fact. It is a fact. And I can see that you need to sever ties with something and you need to move on from something to go down this new path. I, I, I truly can see that. So, and this is letting go. Letting go of something because you have this new exciting opportunity being presented to you. We are going to start right here for month number two. So month number two, you're going to be really actually finally, I mean, this is the final cut. It's the final cut with somebody and, and moving into something more prosper prosperous, like starting over someplace else or with somebody else. And this is very, it's a very passionate time. It's an exciting time. It's a very fertile time. Wherever you are headed, you are headed in the right direction. This is your, it's like you've re you're receiving some sort of gift. You really are. The Ace of Pentacles is a gift. It's just going to make you happy. Anyway, let's read that orphaned card. Now, that orphaned card is a five, right? Um, this is a five and this is a five. So we have five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. Now, five, five, fives are major life changes and major life choices. We already talked about this the month before. Your life is changing drastically. Drastic, drastically. That is what you are experiencing in the next three months. That is the meaning of this card. This is change. This is choices and change. That is the meaning of this card. That is your next three months. So anyway, orphaned. A sense of loss, an identity crisis. Recognizing that you don't fit in and the need to belong. Uncertainty about your place. We were all meant to have connection with other people within our family, society, and the larger culture. No man is an island. And it's, and it's important to recognize when being a part of rather than separate from is essential to your well-being. The issue at hand is the need to find where you fit. But true to your core truths and values, perhaps you no longer identify with a group or community the way you did before and need to find a new situation. Let me read that part again. <clears throat> Perhaps you no longer identify with a group or community the way you did before and need to find a new situation. You might be feeling a deep sense of loss or confusion. Address the need for belonging and know that you will find your place with others of like mind and spirit. It's okay to let go of pressure to fit in. Not everyone will un understand you. It's time to move on. And this is moving on. You have a new opportunity waiting for you to see it, waiting for you to grab it. And I think that you, you already see it. I do. <coughs> As you shift and evolve and commit to your own growth, you long for support but may be disappointed and hurt by others who are not providing you what you feel you deserve. Perhaps you are drifting away from this relationship because you are in a different stage of personal growth. You are. But some of you are resisting it. You may have to get a divorce. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anyway, perhaps you are in a new relationship and discovering that you don't share the same values and beliefs. So you feel left out. Or that could be in the relationship that you are in now. You just don't share the same values and beliefs. Unable to get to that intimate place of safety and belonging. 
take heart as spirit knows you and loves you and will steer you in the direction of those who accept you as you are without artifice or agenda. Don't compromise yourself to belong. It won't be worth the price. You have a new opportunity here. And I think this month, I mean, maybe you're, maybe you'll take it. Hopefully you will follow your heart and you will take it, Aquarius. Soul journey. That's what's going on with you. That is what is going on with you. This is a life lesson. Learn from this experience. From the moment you choose to return to earth in this incarnation, you decided to be a conscious creator of your life's journey. Your story, as you have written it, is held within the records of the Akashic temper, temples and can be assessed, viewed, and experienced at any time. Organized like a library, their Akashic temple holds the records of each soul's journey energetically within the astral plane. Thoughts, feelings, actions, deeds, past lives, purpose, and soul lessons are all recorded within this place. Acting as a spiritual database, every human process we experience is recorded. Events, births, deaths, marriages, and other life events can be reflected upon at any time. Your individual record is protected by your guardian who ensure that permission is granted and safe access is available at your request. The integrity of the Akashic is never compromised as a result. Right now you are experiencing a life lesson. Whatever the outcome, know that this lesson is for a reason, even if you are unaware of it. It is important that you become mindful of your experiences, acknowledging decisions and actions that have led you to this moment. Ask yourself, what is it that I need to learn from this situation? How am I affected by it? What can I do that will help me correct this negative course of action? How can I improve my soul's connection to my higher purpose? What can I do to support humanity while you may be unable to see a way out of your circumstances right now this will pass and you will soon be shown the reason for recent events it is important to recognize the value of your experiences in resolved past issues and patterns from the experiences of lessons learned co-create a beautiful life with new perspectives the choice is up to you where do you want to go from here do you want to continue to be in a situation that is unfulfilling? Or do you want more? Month number three. Month number three. Exploration. Breathe. Breathe. Breathe as you explore a new territory, Aquarius. Just breathe. Everything happens for a reason. I think there's fear here. You're going through major life changes. You're exploring new territory. Life is changing so drastically. You may need to take a little break. You know, go within and meditate and take time to reflect on all these changes that you are experiencing. Four of Wands, Judgment, Magician, Page of Wands, The Fool, and The Two of Swords. So, we have a new suitor here for some of you. This is somebody that you is very well suited for you. So, this is a new suitor for some of you that you could be very, very happy with. This is a soulmate connection. It is. We already talked about this month before. This is awareness. This is a wake-up call. So you may be receiving a message from somebody that uh, during this month, this is this is things progressing forward, starting over, starting from scratch, finding your resources to take action, being willing to let go, listening to uh, the messages from the divine, receiving messages. They gave you this gift, realizing that it's a gift, realizing that it's time to start over. I think that you guys are coming out of a period of denial. You have been in a period of denial for, for I don't know, maybe it's been a couple years. I don't know. I feel as though you guys are 
definitely taking action to leave something behind. Month number three, this is starting from scratch, starting over. This is your epiphany. It's like you've received the epiphany that, uh, you know... It's time to take this new adventure. This is an exciting time. Um, this is a happiness. This is a celebrating. This could be even celebrating um, a new commitment. Somebody's commitment could be stepping it up to the next level. Um, somebody is going to receive a call from somebody. Somebody's going to receive like a telephone call from somebody that really excites them, and this could this could actually uh, be the beginning. This telephone call could be the beginning, like the actual beginning. Um, not that I I wasn't already seeing a beginning before that, but I do see that there is a there is a. Um, there is a new beginning here. This is this is taking action to leave everything behind and start over. This is like leaving everything behind and start over. Seriously. This is somebody who is willing to do so to bring success. It's like they just wake up. It's like boom. This is a wake up call. That's what judgment is. It's an awakening. And this is a secret is about to be revealed. Somebody may have been hiding the truth. But it's like, and they, this is this is hiding the truth, avoiding, you know, restricting themselves, fear of the unknown. But it's like they can't. It's like they just decide to open up. It's like they receive this epiphany that, you know, they gotta they gotta go down this path. They gotta follow through. They gotta do what they that's that they gotta go after what they're passionate about. Somebody has this new discovery. And it's like, this is where my happiness lies. This is what I want. This is the happiness that I have been seeking. It's like, this is, this is, it's like, this is what you always, always asked for. This is the soulmate you asked for. It's like somebody just realizes that's, that's the one I want. That's what I'm going, I'm going for it. This person goes for it. Somebody has been blocking a connection, by the way. They have been, they've been blocking a connection. It's almost like refusing to wake up. But now with that magician, it's like, now they see, now they see that this, that it, that what this is, this is a gift. This is a gift from heaven. It's like, I got to do this. I got to do this. It's like they go through this awakening. You know, I can't hold back anymore. I got to do this. Um, and this is, and this is releasing the past. So somebody may be releasing the past and going their own way. I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to explore. And that is what exploration is about. I have to explore. So I think we have somebody here that is leaving behind a whole lot. It's like just leaving it all behind for some of you. I'm leaving this all behind. And this person, you know, is about ready to take a risk after wearing a mask. Somebody has been wearing a mask with the two of swords. And they've been sitting on the fence about making this painful, stressful decision to break free. But I feel like this is the month of freedom. Month number three is the month of freedom. It's like this, this, uh, this, this, this. I have to. And if you, somebody, if, if you are completely single or not, this is like somebody just has burst into your world. And that may have happened a few months before, as we saw. It's like this person burst into your world and it changes everything. It just changes everything. Now it's like you want to be with them. You want to be happy with them. And... So you got to leave something, but I see that's what's going on here. I know that is what is going on here. Seizing that new opportunity for love. So yes, you will be. Somebody is going to be seizing an opportunity for love, taking it. This person is very well suited for you. This person may, there be a, may be a little bit of an age gap, just a tiny bit, a little bit of an age difference. This is somebody that... Um, It can really open you up and make you feel really, really good. Uh, make you feel alive again. But some, like I said, somebody's been blocking the blockage, blockage, blocking this commitment, blocking this happiness, blocking themselves from building any kind of foundation with this person because 
they had to take action to, and they had to be willing to shed something so that they could start over. This is a month of exploration after some sort of freedom. This is releasing the past. This is taking action to bring success and start over. So we definitely have somebody here that is using their resources, finding their resources to uh, release. This is release and start over. So this is starting over with somebody new. This is starting over with some, actually really starting over with somebody new. So I feel like month number three, we have um, this, is this awakening, like feeling alive again. You're going to, you're going to feel alive again, like really alive, like, wow, like you've risen, you've risen from this dormant, this dormant time. Let's read this one first. I'll bring that in a little bit. Okay. Exploration. Explore new territory. And that is what you'll be doing in month number three. You will be. Create your own path with purpose. Be brave. Exploring new ground and territory is essential to moving forward. Once we overcome our fear of the unknown, and there has been fear. This is fear of the unknown. Somebody's been letting fear keep them trapped. Anyhow, once we overcome our fear of the unknown, we often find the journey towards our new destination is rewarding and filled with personal growth. While exploration of the soul is required to move through the next phase of your life, travel is also a main feature now. Adventure awaits. And I mentioned adventure a couple times during this month. You, This is like a new adventure. It really, really is. Um, adventure awaits. So pack your bags and make some plans. Short or long trips or long trips are, are likely. Your soul is requiring new scenery. There is much to be learned through exploring nature, environment, relationships, and places. Nervous excitement will arise when you follow your dreams. While there may be some mountains you need to climb, it is all part of the journey. Viewing the scenery from different heights is rewarding because the climb is filled with achievements, milestones, and personal progress. By taking a step forward and realizing your hidden potential, you will find confidence as your re reliance on others reduces Sometimes to move towards something fabulous, we need to be brave. Explore the pathways already available to you, but make sure you create your own trail and walk your own track so you can live your authenticity with integrity. Right now, you need to search and explore. There are many things to be found and uncovered from the past experiences. Your soul is asking you to wander for the soul knows where it is going. Let yourself roam free. You will find new scenery, people, and communities to connect with. While your confidence grows, so does your independence. Leave emotional baggage. I said leave it all behind. I did. Leave emotional baggage in the past and your backpack empty so you can create new memories and fun experiences. And you will be creating new memories this month in month number three. You will be. For those of you that have the courage to face the unknown. There are some people that will stay in their dead end marriages where there's no love and continue to wear that. Um, oh, I'm so happy hat. When they're not. Breathe. Breathe. Patience, waiting, going slowly, wellness, meditation, trust. Patience in all things is called for right now. What do you need to do when you're in a rush? Slow down, of course. Meditate and trust. Breathe and repeat. Humans cannot exist without drawing breath. 
Now is the time to allow life-giving element of air to replenish your body, your being, and your very essence. Stop to smell the roses, breathe in the sunlight, and release the darkness, and miracles will appear. Don't be in too much of a hurry right now. The heart needs time to open, take a breath, and let nature take its course. Release constriction and anxiety, for there is no need for tension. Savor the moment and the waiting won't prove difficult. Your heart knows what the ego often resists learning. Patience pays off in deep and meaningful ways. So I feel like month three is a month of exploring your new uh, life, leaving all the baggage behind, traveling, scheduling travel, meeting new people, uh, taking a new adventure, releasing, letting go. Um... You have a new beginning here. You do. And it's very exciting. By the by the end of month three, you you may need to really face your fears. Like take that mask off, stop restricting yourself, and just take a leap of faith into unknown territory. So that's what I see in month number three. Although like I said, and those words came out for a reason, there are some of you that are going to continue to uh, stay in a situation because of your fear. There's a price to pay. Remember that. So the next three months is about change. Major change. Good luck.